Hello everyone, welcome in my channel WPF and today I am going to show you the new feature, uh, newly launched uh, WPF that is uh, WPF.NET Core. So uh, the .NET Core app also available for the WPF. So just uh, have a look at uh, how to create a new project in WPF or you can say uh, getting started with WPF.NET Core. So uh, the project name is uh, testing WPF and both uh, .NET Framework as well as .NET Core WPF application is available in Visual Studio 2019. So uh, this is the same thing uh, you can uh, see in a WPF Framework, uh, .NET Framework as well as .NET Core. Uh, and the similar thing you can see uh, in the Solution Explorer where the app.zavl file. Also you can search the Solution Explorer from the search bar uh looking like that there is the project name that is uh, text uh, testing wpf and that is the app.xaml file where you can see the start tip uri of the project that is the man window.xaml file you know that uh, that is the window uh, that is uh, currently or you can say the starting window of uh, starting project window and these are the toolbox that is similar with the .NET Framework as well as that is similar with the uh, Windows form. So uh, in the Windows form you can drag and drop that up, uh, drag and drop tools from uh, toolbox to the main window. Uh, but uh, in WPF we are not recommended to uh, do this because uh, WPF provide uh, the source uh, code that in the form of XAML. So uh, you can do this, but uh, it's not pr recommended. So manually you can do, uh, manually you, uh, you have to design your code. So after run your applications, you can see that uh, a newly uh, controlled uh, window will uh, attach, uh, window have to attach with your uh, running window. That is the button and the text box and the also minimize close and the close button also there. So uh, you can see that uh, that is the XAML window and uh, have to check uh, the grid definitions, uh, row definitions, column definitions uh, in a .NET Core application. Uh, so just remove text box and button control from the uh, in the grids and uh, add a uh, column definitions in the grid so grid dot column definitions and in the column definitions you can add a column definition if you uh, close the uh, column definitions uh, in as a as a child you can notice that automatically delete the multi-line uh, multi column definitions so first of all assign the width uh, the, uh, to the first column and also close that column definition as in in the form of child so there is uh, column definition width is also in, in the uh, as a uh, column so just removed the multi-line uh, closed column definitions so just copy and paste for three times you can say two times and uh, totally is the column definition is three so first column is the 40, 40, 40 and remaining is uh, empty. So if you assign the auto that is automatically uh, assigned and the asterisk it means uh, the remaining area will assign. So there is the column definitions and after that you can design uh, the row definitions. So grid dot row definitions. Similarly we can mm, uh, design the row definitions according to the column definitions. So row definition height in the row uh, we can mention height. So 40 is the first row definition height. You can see in the designer window. So here we have four, three uh, rows and the second row is auto. So automatically uh, initialize according to the controls. And the last one is the strict. I mean to say that remaining uh, area is assigned uh, for that. Okay. So after that you can add some controls in the uh, column definition in the grid according to the column definition and the row definitions. So button uh, control and the content of the button control that is my button. 
ओके एंड द ग्रिड डॉट रो डेफिनेशन ग्रिड डॉट कॉलम डेफिनेशन इज देयर सो ग्रिड डॉट रो दैट इज द इंडेक्स नंबर असाइंड फ्रॉम द जीरो टू जीरो वन टू इन द ग्रो एंड सिमिलरली विद द कॉलम जीरो टू टू सो कॉलम इज ऑल्सो वन सो इन द मिडल आई मीन टू से दैट ऑटो कॉलम एंड द रो असाइंड देर इज ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएटेड ए न्यू रो एंड द कॉलम्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑटो हाइट एंड ऑटो विथ एंड एड ए न्यू टैक्स बॉक्स कंट्रोल इन ए डब्ल्यू पी एफ इन अ ग्रिड इन द लास्ट रो एंड द लास्ट कॉलम सो ग्रिड डॉट रो टू सॉरी इट्स नॉट टू एक्चुअली थ्री इट्स नॉट थ्री टू ओके दैट इज द लास्ट रो ऑफ द ग्रिड एंड असाइन ऑल्सो द कॉलम दैट इज ग्रिड डॉट कॉलम इज टू ओके सो दैट्स फाइन एंड द टेक्स बॉक्स नेम इज माई टेक्स्ट so that is you can see that uh, the border line of the text box as well as the border line of uh, grid is highlighted when assigning the control to the grid rows and columns cell or you can say cell so when we click on the button control that is hello world will assign to the my text dot text as a text so uh, just click on it on the my button So hello world is assigned in the text box. So uh, I think that is a similar uh, thing you can uh, do in a .NET Core application with the .NET framework. So there is nothing some changes. Um, only one I have to notice that uh, you can see that uh, the when we run uh, our applications, uh, some controls on the uh, on the top area will show. Okay, so. all these are all these things are uh, similar like looking like the row definitions column definitions stacks and images and controls and whatever you can see uh, all application wpf controls are also there so uh, i think uh, that is the uh, time to uh, uh, revise your uh, uh, revise your code So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos related to .NET Core in WPF. And uh, later I will uh, discuss the more videos uh, in the .NET Core applications with the database applications. Uh, if you want any uh, um, help uh, with my channels, from my channels, so please consult me and uh, I will uh, we will discuss on that topics. So thank you very much for watching this.